Let's divide 7,182 by 42. And what's different here is we're now dividing by a two-digit number, not a one-digit number, but the same idea holds. So we say, hey, how many times does 42 go into 7? Well, it doesn't really go into 7 at all, so let's add one more place value. How many times does 42? It was the concept of short, repeatable lessons that attracted high school senior Bridget Meany, who admitted she'd had trouble with seventh grade algebra. I think the teachers are good, but they can't go at a pace that's um, like perfect for everyone. But um, I like the concept of knowing something in class, but then going back and pressing pause or rewind and actually getting a deeper understanding of it. Well, we go home and we watch a video on Khan Academy, and then we and then we can watch it over, and we usually fill out a sheet. If we have any questions or anything, then we come back to school and we like basically we do schoolwork at home and then our, we do our homework at school. Life is different for me because I don't I no longer am the guy who stands up in the front of the classroom and just yaks at a student for an hour or what, however long the class is. Now I walk around the, the class and I help kids. I, I'm a tutor, I'm a guide, I'm uh, the putter outer of fires, whatever it happens to be um, in my crazy chemistry class, I walk around and do that. I don't stand up front and teach under the kind of the traditional model. And, you know, even at this point, you know, I said, okay, maybe it's a good supplement, it's good for motivated students, it's good for maybe homeschoolers. But I didn't think it would be something that would somehow penetrate the classroom. But then I started getting letters from teachers. And the teachers would write saying, We've used your videos to flip the classroom. You've given the lectures. So now what we do, and this could actually happen in every classroom in America tomorrow, what I do is I assign the lectures for homework, and what used to be homework, I now have the students doing in the classroom. I, I want it to be a, a standalone virtual school where, where anyone in the world who wants to learn anything uh, can go there, uh, start from the basics, uh, progress as far as they need to go, get feedback, get assessment, get practice. Um, and, and eventually I want it to actually become the operating system for what goes on in the classroom where uh, every student's allowed to work at their own pace and the teacher actually becomes more of a, of a mentor or a, uh, of a coach. <laughs>